Scatter Stan. I want to talk a little bit about service projects, uh, service hours and recording all of that. But before we get into that, there's all kinds of good terms that we do that shows great scout spirit. And uh, this might come up at really strange times. We might do a collection for a natural disaster. Uh, scouts might get together and collect water or any particular item uh, and send or help get it sent off to a charity that's going to a disaster. So that's something that does occur. Uh, we might even do recycling. That's something that, that might come up. Um, it really, def it's not defined. Service projects can be many different things. They could be recycling. That could be a big service project. Could be a conservation project mixed with recycling. Say they're cleaning up a river or a river bank where there's a lot of plastic and stuff. That all, that stuff can be recycled. These are things, these are service projects that come up all the time. One of the big ones we do in November, especially in the South, uh, we do scouting for food. Now this, this uh, it may be different, a little bit different in different parts of the country, but in the South, we do it in November. It's usually the first weekend we go out and we either put uh, door hangers or bags on doors and it tells them what's going on as far as the food collection and then we collect it for a food bank the following weekend. So those are great service projects for the community. There are an endless list of service projects out there. So definitely look into that as a scout leader. Now significant and important enhancements have been made to how service hours are recorded. So depending on your area and depending on what you're doing with JTE and all of that stuff, it may be different on how it's reported. Scouting is moving from the old system that was out there and they're going into a new system called Scoutbook. So a lot of that has been transferred over. The internet advancement settings are still there and you may still be able to tap into that. Usually that's through your myscouting.org login. Your name and password is how you get in to mark down your service hours. Now over time they're going to integrate more with Scoutbook and it will automatically be done through that. This is something that is changing but it's something that needs to be done. There are thousands of hours that go totally unrecorded and it's important that we make this point to the community that we do certain amounts of service projects. We put in the hours towards the benefit of the community and that's very important regardless. Scout is friendly and courteous. That's part of it. We need to get those numbers recorded. Make a point to look into how your area is recording service hours. Make sure that whenever your unit is doing service for the community that those hours are collected and put towards your service hours Many times you're going to find that the service hours, the database, has been already integrated or moved over to the new system. So look into that. If you're in charge of that, and there should be more, there should be a whole team that works on that. Make sure that you know what is going on with your unit's service hours. Keep up the good work. We're going to keep putting in our service hours and keep on doing that service. And we, the community, everyone, we appreciate all the effort you make for the good of everyone in our community. Thank you so much, and I'll see you on the trail.